Upset across Europe. Arsenal drawing at West Ham United. Can they still win the Premier League? Also, Spurs conceding defeat at home to Bournemouth. Can they still make it to the top four? Also, can Juventus still strive to make it into the Champions League next season after their one new defeat against Sassuolo? And then in Europe, Victor Osimhen makes a return from injury. Can he inspire Napoli to defeat AC Milan and going through the next phase of the tournament? We'll find out in this episode of The Nutmeg. My name is Ayomide Shotobo. Will Victor Simmons return from injury boy Napoli to defeat AC Milan? That's the question on everybody's lips. And that's the question the guys in the studio are going to be answering. Of course, uh, James is here. And I wonder if you think the highest goal scorer in the Italian Serie A and also talisman for Napoli from start of the season to date, scoring goals right, left and centre. Do you think he can revive their chances of going through the next phase? Well, um, uh, um, Simeo, from what we've seen this season, is somebody who can, you know, uh, make things happen. So, um, I do. I think this game against uh, AC Milan is coming too soon for him. Uh, he played at the weekend, uh, he didn't score, and coming up against a Milan side that do they've not been doing well in the league, but in the Champions League, they've been, I mean, they've been rolling. So, I think it's going to, it's going to be very tough for him. I'm not really now the fact that he can score goals, he score against the Milan team, but uh, I think it's going to be a very, very difficult game for. Usima and his uh, Napoli teammates. Okay, let's let's uh, give some context to this now, Solis. Because uh, AC Milan are a good side, no doubt. They are champions of the Italian Serie A. Don't take that away from them. They beat out uh, Tottenham or Spur to get to this stage, although it was hedgy. And also, the game at uh, uh, the Diago Amado Maradona Stadium was also hedgy as well. But away from all of that, Osimhen is a player that I've talked about a lot on this show, and I did say in the past edition that at this stage of the competition, we're going to determine if Osimhen is mature enough to be a world beater. And the opportunity, the stage has presented itself. The question now is, do you think he can well and truly do that? Is he mature enough? Do you think he can you know, come from injury and take the game by his scruff of his neck and you know, send his name out, grab the headlines? Can he do that? I think if you look at Europe right now, if you are not calling any Haaland, you definitely will be calling Osime. Yeah. Osime is one a proven striker. Yeah, one of the names, yeah. His absence in the last four or five games for Napoli is evident. Napoli played without the fear factor against AC Milan in the last Champions League game. So coming into the foray right now, that fear factor. You see, he doesn't just come with goals. It come with the fair factor that the attention will lean towards uh, will be leaning towards Osime yeah, and in this second leg. So Osime coming right now, I think this is the perfect time for him to come. And then I can bet it, Napoli will defeat AC Milan. Okay, we we'll wait and see. But we switch our focus to Germany now. Bayern Munich have only won two of their five games under Thomas Tuchel, and the question is begging to be answered: Can they do it against a Manchester City? Who they trail with a three-goal deficit, can they do it, really? Pep Guardiola's side are familiar to uh, capitulating at this stage of the season as well, if you check history. But they want to win the Champions League. And Bayern Munich under Tuchel, this is a big challenge. Can they do this? Can they overturn that three-goal deficit, James? No, I think it's done and dusted for Bayern Munich. I mean, uh, you're facing a, a Man City side being handled by... Um, one of the best coaches around them, Pep Guardiola. So I can't even recall uh, a time when uh, a team from um, handled by Guardiola went with uh, such a margin and kind of capitulated. So I doubt it. I think for me, it is done and just said, Bayern Munich are out. Bayern Munich are out. But that's James' opinion. Uh, well, the fact is, Bayern Munich at the Alliance Arena are a very, very tough nut to crack. Do you think they stand no chance going into this match? Okay, I will take a different opinion from James. Is it just for the sake of taking? The no, no, not for the no, no. So no. why, why do you think uh, they can? If you ask it? me, there are some European teams that, when it comes to being kings of comebacks, you can look away: Barcelona, Bayern Munich, and Real Madrid. Manchester no, United, please. look at Manchester City. <laughs> Manchester City could be in the best form of their lives, yeah. but they lack this thing called experience, mm. mentality. Bayern Munich is down 3 0. Barcelona were down 4 0 at some time ago with PSG. Barcelona were down, uh, Liverpool were down 3 0 sometimes against Barcelona, and they came down 4 0. 
So who says it is impossible that Bayern can't do it? It's the Champions Come League. on, after Madrid, they see Milan. Bayern is the second most successful team in Europe. So who is Manchester City compared to Bayern Munich? Mm. No, I can bet you there's going to be a comeback. The question will be answered. <laughs> but then we now switch to Guardian Picks. And the first game is Chelsea versus Real Madrid. I back anybody to beat Chelsea at Stamford Bridge these days. And I've gone for a straight win for Real Madrid. And I'm justified. Don't ask me why. Next is uh, Bayern Munich versus Manchester City. For many, it's done and dusted, but I think there are going to be a lot of goals in that encounter, so I've gone for over 2.5. Up next, Benfica travel to Italy to face Inter Milan. I've gone for Inter to claim victory and qualify because uh, it's done and dusted. For me, they failed to score in Portugal. Benfica don't have a chance. And finally, on Guardian Picks, it's going to be Napoli versus AC Milan. And I've gone for both teams to score. The return of Victor Osima is one to watch out for. That's how we wrap up this edition. You can join the community by hitting the subscribe button and also get our latest videos by tapping the notification bells. My name is Ayomide Shutsubo. This is the Nutmeg on Guardian TV. See you next time.